on your tool belt and grab a cup of coffee. It's time for My Fix It Up Life with Mark and Teresa. Yeah! Can you hear me? What's up? What's up? Dude. Oh. Hey. Do I got to follow everybody? Is that how this works? You j- Look, basically what we're going to do right now on the rest of this blab is, and you've already got 151 people watching you type, basically. And Justin DePego's here, too. Um, basically, what we're going to do is we're all going to watch each other hack away at our keyboards until this works. Got it. I don't type, so it's all fingers. <laughs> I have no idea what I'm doing. I'm surprising I got this far, so just so we know. I'm... Jason, no, you're hey, the, look, you're I'm with you. What's that? I said, you're the anchor of this hey, show. Hey, you know, listen, I, I'm, I, I'm just here to do what I can. I mean, uh, this is the first time I'm blab, so I didn't even know there was a blab until just now. So, well, yeah, we got to give beta right at the top of the screen on the left. Beta at the top. Yeah, this is this is all in the beta stage. We're being we're being tested right now. Right. No, I see that. I got my thing on the beta. So, yeah. So far, so good. You guys can hear me. I can hear you. I can see you. I mean, this this is working so far. It is, and we've got if this comes together on our my fix it up life DIY fitness show. Hold on, Matt Blashaw, dude, guns. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Damn it. Are we talking fitness? What are we talking about? I'm not, not going to do that now. <laughs> wait a minute, Blashaw. Is that a pig? <laughs> are you guys kidding me? So, Cameron, Cam, um, somebody call a vet because those pythons are sick. <laughs> what, these? What are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> Hold on a second. Matt. Hey, Matt. Hey, what is going on, Matt and Jason? Meet Justin if you haven't met him before. What's pleasure? Up? Have gentlemen. we met Justin? I don't know if we've met before. Uh, we we've probably crossed paths in the in the DIY world at some point. Be, yeah, gotcha. Yeah. Well, nice nice to meet you on Blab. It's a uh, nice <laughs> to Blab with you too. <laughs> Hi, can Matt hear us? Can you hear us, Matt? We can't hear um, you. He can hear us, but we can't hear you, Matt. I heard a ding. I heard a ding too. What the hell's going on over Maybe there? Lips. Are, are you cooking? No, that that was me. I got a I got a text message. Unrelated. You got to hold signs up. We can't we can't hear you. Hold hold on a second. My uh, <laughs> my lime is ringing. <laughs> So we are theoretically talking about DIY fitness. Oh, wait, what's that? Boom! Yeah, there it is. Uh-huh. uh-huh. There it is. There we go. Now, <laughs> wait a minute. Hold on a second. Testosterone is just pouring through the window of my hotel room. You know, I got to close the window. It's pouring through here, too. <laughs> yeah, it's getting kind of funky in here. I just so, came from the gym, so you know I'm a little. It's a, I cheated a little bit. I'm a little pumped up right now, so you know. There you go. There you go. So yeah. was it one of the things that we're supposed to talk about? And we might get there. We might not. Is is the DIY of fitness and like because we all travel. People in the audience who are listening to us, like Silene F. I hope I said that right. Or mom Metallica? Are you kidding me? We all travel for business. We go on vacation. We do all this stuff. And then you're eating cheeseburgers like I had today in Chicago. Oh, my God. It was good. So were the fries. And I have it every now and then. I'm so thirsty. I can't stand it because it was, you know, cheeseburger and then salt. Matt, seriously, is that like a goat? Did, Matt, did, did we hear Matt yet? No, we can't hear him. We can't. No. Matt might need to share his microphone. <laughs> Matt's got to click something. Matt, you got to pound away at the keyboard. We all we all did it. Now it's your turn. It is, and that's Cindy. Cindy, who was oh. listening before, yeah, and I, awesome. I can't. So I have a little problem reading what the Twitter handle is supposed to be. You know, and then I make up a name basically. So. 
Mom Metallica says Matt needs to reboot. He did. I'm going to click something over here. here he let comes. him come in. So right now, I'm in a hotel room in Chicago because I am this. Construction specialist. Wow. That's official. It's official. It's, it's on a tag. You know when it's on a tag, it's official. Yeah. 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 And this is no, like, this is made out of uh, uh, carbide. <laughs> Matt, are not, you, can you hear us? Sound! Damn it. No. Mark, I, I once got one of those from uh from from craftsmen that said that I was a master woodworker, which which I am not. Uh yeah. I'm more of a you know DIY construction handyman kind of guy. But I figure if I could get that made into a pope hat that says master woodworker and just and just oh, wear it. <laughs> it hey, Matt, I call, would be a... call tara i think she can i think she can settle your sound problems matt needs to follow yeah. does he need to follow everybody to make that work if he's not <laughs> <laughs> but i had to, I had to look oh. to follow people anyway. maybe that's what it is <laughs> you alright? <laughs> you all right? <laughs> we can oh, try some out, out, remote PR. Yeah, my fitness. I like to stay sober <laughs> while I drink water. So let's get into this. Let's I, talk fitness. Let's. I'm, okay. I'm literally choking on water, <clears throat> and we know that John Culinary is coming up. Is he coming so, up? Because I know there was a problem with Safari and Beta, and you know we can't. I tried on Safari. <clears throat> yeah, it won't work on Safari. Yeah, I ended up doing um, Google Chrome. That ended up working. Yeah, that's what I'm on now. So that's yeah, it, the ticket. That's where I am. So John's saying he's in now, but I don't. I don't see him. He should pop up, right? He's in. Cindy is having issues, so maybe try. Google Chrome. Justin, you had to download that last time. Yes, I uh, I, I downloaded <clears throat> on fly. Exactly. You're good. You are I, good. Yeah, we're getting a lot of Chrome is best with Blab now. So obviously that's the way to go. So maybe eventually they'll work on Safari. Yeah, maybe it will. But, you know, let's talk about web browsers instead of what you did, Jason, at the gym tonight. Because... God knows I want this to be a wired, mashable. Ah, oh, oh, there he is. Show, sorry, shows kind of. Thanks, thanks for coming. <laughs> can, can you guys hear him? We got him. We got him. We got him. Oh, we can hear him. <laughs> we can hear you, John Culinary, HGTV. Well, I'm, I'm a lot cool. I'm a lot cooler than Matt anyway. So thank God he's got. <laughs> oh, but you know what? Watch this. I'm gonna bash on this on this like thing. And give you that many. <laughs> what is it, Jim Hat Night? You guys, did you share it? Like, tweet each other to wear a ball yeah, cap. It, Jim Hat Night. No, it's, 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 yeah. I mean, it's, I've got Hat Head. I can't. I got to put the hat on. Jim Head. I got Jim Head. You got Jim Head. Yeah. Okay. So what I'm gonna do? Hey, Justin. Yes. I'm going to click you out for a second to see All if right. we can get Matt back in. Good. And we're going to cycle through. So check, stay with us and come I'm back in, okay? Okay. Awesome. All right, later, Boom. Matt. So, so on this, you can only do four at a time. Is that how it works? That's how it works. Got it. That's how it works. So now Matt is trying again. Let's see what happens now. It work now. What the fuck? I I don't know what happened. What was it? I am computer literate. <laughs> Hold on, you guys. John, I Hold heard every word, John. Real nice, but yeah. <laughs> I heard every word. Are you Hold on one sec. And you're bashing me. I'm going to send you guys an email. <laughs> I'm going to fax you guys something. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> Jason, obviously, you're not old enough to remember those things. You just know it from like watching that History Channel show about technology. Oh, of course, yeah, that's what. It yeah, is. Listen, I'm yeah. shocked even on this. I got this to work. I'm, I'm, I'm amazed. 
<laughs> I just I did the Periscope yesterday for the first time. I mean, you know, Periscope, now you got Blab. Isn't that, is that the freakiest thing, the whole Periscope? Oh, I'm telling you, man. It's like, then Blab. And I'm like, what is Blab? I thought I was calling into the show, and all of a sudden, no, I'm doing Blab. I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> they make me feel so old. Because, like, last time we were doing Google Chat, never did that before. And now I'm doing Blab. Like, what is it? And now it's taking control of my Twitter? Is that what it says? I love Mark. I love how Mark has all Mark has all the new gadgets. He's got everything new out. He's always on top of it. I He's love it. Super tech. Yeah. It's okay. John, let me take a lot of credit right now for <laughs> us being on Blab and also us being on well, anything, because what I want everyone to know in the blabosphere is that it's all me and not, say, for example, Teresa. Yes, it's your wife. Yes. Where is yeah. Teresa? And, and it's not, she is with Jack tonight hanging out with our son, our six-year-old. Ah, so it's all And me. I'm doing this from the road in a hotel room. Oh, nice. you, oh, so, oh you're on the road. Yeah, I mean, I've got beer and pizza in here. Like, it's just stacked up. Yeah, beer and pizza, we're going to talk about fitness. Fitness. Okay. fitness. Perfect fitness. DIY fitness. Yeah. No, that's why we're doing it, though, because I'm at the remodeling show in Deck Expo, and it's a, it's like a home show for pros, and I'm teaching classes on how to build decks and pergolas and things like that, and it's life on the road, so we got inspired to get your guys' take because – all of you, I mean, how many, Matt, how many nights a year do you spend in a hotel? Me, 300. <laughs> Last year was 300 nights. That's ridiculous. Holy crap. Why do I have this place? Like, why do I have this place? <laughs> you get an almost in a year, dude. Seriously. Like, like, 300 days is, like, ridiculous. So, yeah. But let me ask you guys this. We're all the same. The first question I ask when I get to the hotel is, where's the closest gym? That's exactly what I do all the time. Yes. And they're like, oh, we have one here. I'm like, no, you don't. No, you you don't. You, you've got a room with a treadmill and some heavy stuff in it. It's a room It's a room with two treadmills and a, and a rack of weights that go up to 25. The no, first thing that I do, first thing that I do is that I Google and I look for the nearest gym. And I look for, because literally gym fees are going to be like five, 10 bucks, maybe per, per session. You go in there, they have everything that you want. You get, you get, I mean, there's, when you go to like North Carolina, South Carolina, there's actually some really nice gyms that have yeah, you know, some good gyms. They have some good gyms. So you could go and get a gym or somebody's garage. Uh, go on 10 bucks. What's that? Is that a gym or somebody's garage for five or 10 bucks? <laughs> <laughs> you go in there, you're just lifting like a car axle. I just kind of, I got it. Yeah, yeah. You have to run down the alley. The dog's chasing you. That's part of your cardio. Well, yeah, now, now yeah, Mark, that's what, Mark, I want to know something. Do you go to gym or do you make your own gyms on the road? Because I feel like you have the craziest things ever. So you you just make yours. Sometimes I do. I've done that. I've yeah, like perfect. so I find a place to go running wherever it is. Like I can go on the lakeshore in Chicago tomorrow, and then I'll just find crap like. I've done pull-ups on brick walls and bus stops, and I got yelled at in New York City for doing push-ups on a traffic barrier. <laughs> the guy, construction guy just comes around. He's got his vest on. No problem. And he's just like, you know, you know you can't do that, right? Like, oh, I didn't know I couldn't do that. <laughs> I, feel like, I feel like we're on the Brady Bunch. I'm looking down. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, Jason. Uh, you know, people, people ask you guys, I'm sure I ask you guys all the time, you work a full day, you know, you do a show, you get up at 7 a.m., you're there, you're there until 5 o'clock, you're working all day. And everybody's like, why are you going to the gym? You just worked all day. I'm like, I wish it was the same. I, I, I wish that's all it took was we could work all day and it would be the same thing. It's not. Yeah. 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 It's, it's, more, it's more mental. It's more, you're more concentrated when you're at the gym. You're not having to talk. You're not having to host. You know, well, there's a lot of people when you get there that are talking the whole time, and I'm not one of them. I'm like, you know, get yeah. in and get out. Focus. That's man. John. Hey, that's John. He goes to the gym. He's like, hey, how you doing, man? Those weights look heavy, buddy. <laughs> let, me th let me tell you right now. That's the, the gym is the only place that I can be my own thoughts. And 
I even I go to CrossFit because at CrossFit everybody wants to talk. I don't talk to anybody. I'm like, I'm here to do a workout. I want to get in and out. Just leave me alone. This is my one moment to be alone. So So here here's the here's the like you guys are on TV story. Do people come up to you and are just like they want to, they recognize you and they're like, you know, Matt, you're a yard crasher. Can you crash my yard? And you're literally like, you know, ready to do a set. And you're like, uh, do I have to do this now now? That's why you keep headphones in. Headphones in, hat on, head down. You just keep on going, one after another. Boom, boom, boom. It's like cycle. Yeah, yeah. But you know what? Nice. It's, like towards towards the end of it, it's cool because people are like, hey, that's great. But usually towards the end, but like, man, during the workout, I just I don't want to talk. I just want to concentrate on the workout, get it done. And then, you know, afterwards we can talk and we can chat for a little bit. It's always cool when people come up and say hi. Yeah. You know? I don't even collect anybody anymore. I used to go to the gym all the time and I would be look, watching somebody try to do squats and they're like, they're going to break their back and I would go over and I don't even do that anymore. I'm just, it's, I just get it done. You know what I mean? It's, I'm in, yeah. I'm in there 35, 40 minutes and I'm out and that's it. The guy's got the weights and they fall on them and you just, dude, I can't help you. I'm busy. Well, well, this is what I want to know. Matt, Matt and Jason, do you guys, do you still, is it, are, are most of your workouts still gym, like, like weights, like, or, or have you changed up and done any, anything different? Well, for me, it's, uh, let's see. Well, you know, it's funny with, with um, routines in gym. I mean, as a trainer, I would say one thing as an individual, I would say another, but for me, I switch it up in the summer and the spring and in the fall, I'll go to the, the park nearby and maybe two days a week, I'll do sprints and plyos. Uh, and then I'll be in the gym. So it's a combination of the two, but even in the gym, it's all about, you know, how I adjust my workouts with the volume and the intensity and, and cycling those two. And because a lot of people um, that I work with, whether they're athletes or beginners, it's really about um, forcing somebody to adapt. So the growth is all about adaptation and adaptation for me is, the, the fitter you are, the more uh, trained you are, the quicker you adapt right? yeah. to stimuli. So for me, I've been doing this. I don't even want to say how long I've been doing it, <laughs> but it's been a long time. So you have to, 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 to continue the stimulation. You have to um, adapt. So for me, it's, uh, it's uh, CrossFit is a great example of how they've taken some of these exercises that we in the industry have used for a long time, and they've put them in a, in a, nice package where you've got these multi-joint exercises that are Olympic style lifts and things that force people to really adapt. And if you're not used to CrossFit and somebody tries it for the first time, they're like wowed by it because it is intense, right? John, I mean, you know, uh, because you do this, but yeah. So I think it's a combination because you have to really judge where you're at uh, and, and adjust your routine accordingly. So I do a lot of different things to keep it interesting. Yeah, I, I found for me, like CrossFit was, I mean, especially, you know, the older that I get, the more that I'm working out, like it was a little bit too hard on my joints. I do hit high intensity interval training. So I will go from machine to machine to machine and make sure I hit every body part during a workout. So, you know, whether that be some, you know, some push-ups or then some burpee push-ups, then into some pull-ups, then if I have dumbbells, um, dumbbells, a bench, I mean, I'm pretty good to be able to, I mean, do a ton of stuff. And I mean, talk about like DIY. I mean, you, I could throw, you know, some boxes on the ground, do some box jumps, you know. I mean, you could do a ton of stuff, even in your hotel room, dips. I mean, you name it. So I just try to go as fast as I possibly can. And I just get my heart rate up because for me, like it's it's just the quicker the better and i just get my heart rate and then it's uh i can burn more calories that way well matt do you i mean a lot of people that i talk to on the road like you were just talking about in your hotel room because that's where we spend most of our time right so i usually have my trx with me i have bands with me i usually have something that i can use even if i don't make it to the gym i've got something in the room like you said or we just go outside and find a place you can run do some sprints uh, and things like that, but you're right. There's never an excuse. You can always do something. Yeah. Well, you know what? And, and, and Mark, I, I know we've talked about this so many times, but I think when you hear, especially how guys like us, how we travel a lot, we're always doing different things. I mean, look, for us, there really is no routine. 
I mean, really, I mean, I don't, I don't, we're not nine to five people that, that are doing a job where you no. say, oh, I get home at five, I go to the gym at 530. It's the same thing for me Monday through Friday or every day. And I think it's something good for so many people to kind of realize when they are doing their workouts that you don't want routine. You want to change it up. You always want to be going, go to the gym in the morning, maybe for a couple of months, then change it up and go in the afternoon. Always be doing something different with your body, whether it be just going to the gym, doing normal workouts, doing a CrossFit workout, using no weights at all, just using your body weight. And that, you know, you know, just like you said, get some boxes and just do box jumps in yeah. place. You can really make your own workouts and make these incredible experiences. And one thing that I've been doing, and it's kind of an accident of our DIY life. And then Matt, obviously you're going to have experiences in both you guys too, Jason and John, is we ended up with a bunch of pallets at our house. And I started running in the morning and then I have to get my son off to school. So I don't have the gym time to put in. So I started doing stuff with pallets. And I'll be damned there. And I can't believe I'm saying this. Hello, Pinterest. <laughs> they're, they're awesome. Because they, they make you work on all kinds of hand strength. Everything's off balance. Yeah. And you don't just rack them back in the weights. Like you have to like do, clean them up in your yard. You can make box jumps. I've been doing sit-ups with them. They're fantastic. But it's like you're saying, John and Jason and Matt, I don't do that every day. Just, just, but just having the the variety of changing it up and doing something different. Muscle yeah. confusion. Yeah. Muscle confusion. Yeah. That's the biggest thing. People can't. You can't do the same routine every time. You got to switch it up. Whether you run, push up, sit. I mean, even here when I train at my gym, I'm doing a different workout every week, every month, and trying to get my muscle confusion because that's where you're going to get the most gains and the most. Uh, I mean, you're, you're going to look the best, I think, in my opinion. Yeah, the key is consistency, guys. So I think, you know, for anybody that's, uh, you know, wanting to work out or wants to uh, get into this lifestyle, because it is a lifestyle, let's be honest. It's, yeah. uh, it's consistency, number one, but that consistency is going to change because you will adapt. Eventually, your body will adapt to anything. So when you plateau, beginners, intermediates, and uh, it's because you're going to continue to do the same thing over and over again, and eventually it's not going to work anymore. So adaptation recuperation those things revolve but you're right i mean there's it's um using different things in different ways of training that you might not be used to um you know whether that's working with pallets you know working with grip strength doing things you're not used to doing unbalanced training unbalanced training is great because you're always working your core whenever you're not balanced and you're hitting a specific muscle group and you're unbalanced you're working all the other muscles to keep yourself balanced while working the target muscle maybe that's biceps but you're also standing on a bosu ball because you're working other muscles without even knowing you're working them so the unbalanced training is great so just to put somebody in a situation they're not used to will create change well jason and and because you were first we have to unblab you first so <laughs> i have to do the polite thing because <laughs> your colleague sarah bendrick is coming in hey, right. you know what? i got i gotta go too though I, I i gotta take off so if you want to keep jason on and i can bring sarah you can bring sarah in oh uh, he's totally more exciting than you anyway <laughs> it's true <laughs> good job man good seeing you buddy hey jason Matt, you rock pal hey jason real quick awesome. thank jason. you in Santa Monica, that you remember, you showed me the first time in Santa Monica it was like eight years ago. You showed me that TRX, and remember the TRX, man. Oh, I yeah. have used that thing. That is the best piece of exercise equipment I own. Is that TRX? You can take that anywhere on the road, hooking yeah. on a tree, you name it, man. That thing is just talk about balance and core. Yeah. That thing is awesome, dude. That's great. Yeah. You still have the same one when you got it, or is it that you take take it with you all the time? Well, dude, it's, it stays in my my luggage. That TRX, man, best awesome. thing on the planet. Yeah. So thank you very much, well, Matt. Uh, Matt, well, before you, before Matt. you go, I've got to leave you with a uh, a piece from our Twitter feed that's running up the screen here, which I love. Here on Blab, change your Twitter handle to Magic Matt. <laughs> Magic Matt. Okay, yeah, you know, I like that. I like that. Come shirtless next time. Wait. <laughs> Matt, I'm hanging up on you. I, oh my God. 
I got to go. <laughs> and he's gone. <laughs> oh, my God. He is Matt Blashaw. Thank you so much. And Sarah should be piling in here pretty soon. Yeah. So um, we'll stay with it. John, where'd you go? What happened to John? John, call back. There he goes. He's coming back. There's Sarah. There we go. I hear a lot of static. Yeah, Sarah, static. are you driving? No, but I'm in my car. Not a good connection. Yeah. No. Uh oh. <laughs> Sound like she was in a submarine. <laughs> She's out. That's, so that's how we ask you to do it. John, how long have you been doing uh, the CrossFit thing? Um, I've been doing the CrossFit now. It's going on. I started really getting involved in December. So, I mean, a good, it's been a good eight months now. I mean, no, actually longer than that. It's, it's going to go on 10 months. So 10 months of really doing it. And I used to always be a person in the gym nonstop. So I would always do, you know, heavy weights and now changing it up and doing the, the CrossFit workouts, it's, I think I'm, I'm in the best shape that, that I've ever been in. And I know, you know, Mark has done the, the Spartan races and I started doing those. And to me, it's almost like competing and getting back to doing sports how I used to. Because I love playing football. I love playing baseball. And I feel a CrossFit is a competition for myself every week. I'm always pushing myself and keeping track saying, oh, I did, I did this weight last week. I did this weight two, two months ago. Where am I now? And for me, it's just, it's constantly just always putting a shock to my body all the time. Well, I know how popular it's gotten. I know CrossFit has come a long way and that's a very popular thing now because they're popping up everywhere. You know, you always see the CrossFit gym opening up. And it's funny because in the industry, I've been in this industry for a long, that's how I got started in this, uh, was in fitness as a trainer and as a uh, model. But you see the progression, just like kettlebells, John. I mean, you know, you go to the gym now, and everybody uses it. At one point, it was just more of a something that we used with, uh, and Mark, you know this, but kettlebells now all of a sudden, everybody's using kettlebells, which I think is a good thing. You know, I think it's a good thing that that happens. CrossFit's great. Yeah, I, it incorporates a lot of lifts that normal people never used to do, yeah. that now has become mainstream. But it forces, nothing forces your body to adapt better than that kind of stimuli, which is awesome. So. I can imagine if you've been consistent with it, you've seen rapid um, progress. Well, you know what it is too. I, it's I've always been like even, even for myself. Like when I lifted, when I when I used to lift heavy more, I would weigh I probably weigh around like one seventy five ish. Now with CrossFit, I weigh I fluctuate between one fifty five and one sixty, but. It's not, it's not, it's not that I lost any, any muscle. I've actually gained mo more muscle and become more cut up. Right, you're leaner. It, it, it got leaner. It's just the aerobic workout nature of it. And, right. and to me, it's, it's just been a major difference. Do you feel stronger? Absolutely. So much stronger. Does so it matter? So does it matter? that or do you even count it that you can lift more weight or less weight or i don't even look at it that way and you know what in all honesty to me it's not even about the lifting heavy weight it's about getting through these intense workouts so if i'm doing a comfortable weight that i know that i'm okay with and i'm, and I'm getting a faster time or i'm finishing the entire workout and i did whatever that wad is for the day, if I did it all, if I got it all done, then I'm like, oh my God, you know, I can tell it. I'm not as winded as I used to be when, when I first started doing the training, you know, so it's, it, it's, it's totally different. Do you, do you keep track of your heart rate, uh, John, when you're doing it? Do you do heart rate training at all on that or no? I, I, I haven't done that now. Okay. Cause you'll, you'll notice though, that anybody who does heart rate training, you'll notice that how much faster you recuperate. In other words, how much faster your heart rate drops. You know, once you've done a set and your intensity is high and then you, you got your heart rate up to max and then you'll notice how much quicker you tend to re, um, recuperate faster as the better you, you know, well, the more I'll you train. One thing that I noticed, cause I, I don't know about you, but I hate running. So <laughs> I, I hate 
How are you doing, Sarah? Um, Hi, can you hear me better? Yes! Yes! <laughs> yes. I'm the, the crushing you good. with, with likes and feels right now. Yay! You're called feels, and that probably shouldn't seem creepy, but it, maybe it is. Uh, but, but when I was That's okay, this, Jason. I'll feel you too. Don't worry about it. Jason, I don't know about yeah. you, but I, I'm not a big runner, and I don't like, like running long distances. But when you do, but now if we're doing a workout and let's say there's, you know, an, an, an 800 meter run or a 400 meter run that's intervaled in between this wad, I can get it done so much faster and still have the energy to get back and do whatever we're doing. If we're doing any back squats or thrusters or, you know, whatever that exercise is for the day, but I can get through it so, so much easier. And that's, that's how I, yeah, that's how I progress. I can't, I can't run distance. I, that's why I do sprints. Sprints to me, if you ever look at a sprinter's body versus a marathoner's body, you know, <laughs> right? Sprinter's bodies, it, it tells the whole story. It's all about power. It's not about oxygen. It's about power. It's about, you mm -hmm. know, it's sheer power, it's short distance, but it's all out energy, it's all out max. But uh, so I, I love the sprint. My knees can handle that, it can't handle this. Do you guys Sarah, think that you can increase your speed, or do you think some people are just like slower runners or faster runners, like just naturally? No, absolutely. You definitely increase your speed. Absolutely. Yeah, I, I, your speed. I used to do distance running, and there's just like, and I did a couple shorter races too when I was younger. I just never had the speed, I never had those like quick. Uh, switch or muscles or whatever you call them. I don't know. Fast I can go, twitch. Fast, that's it. I can I'm go like distance. that. That's, that's my only thing is I can outrun somebody, but I can't beat them. I'll be like, I'll keep going when you're dead, but. <laughs> Sarah, do, you, do you certainly run distance or have you ever done short interval training, uh, uh, sprints and well, things like that? I started doing CrossFit. Yay, John. Um, yeah. I started doing CrossFit this year and I kid you not. And I also started eating very like paleo. I literally, like, I wasn't even trying to lose weight. Like, literally, like, 10 pounds just, like, melted off me within, like, a month or two. Like, just from doing the CrossFit and then, like, eating eating really healthy. But, um, yeah, I would say when I did the CrossFit, it's so funny because our warm-up is, like, 400 meters. I'm like, how, how can this be a warm-up? My warm-up used to be a mile or two. <laughs> like, this is ridiculous. How am I warm? <laughs> what What is a beater? A beater? Beater? I, I look, they won't let me in the CrossFit thing. Like John and I talk and stuff, but like we get to the gym, he's like, dude, no, I you can't come in here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I yeah. So the uh so how long have you been on CrossFit? I started Sarah? Uh, earlier this year, probably around April. All right, and and since you've been in it, how how have you noticed that you've been uh, you, your progress has has increased? I mean, has it been a very abrupt thing, uh, or I would has it? I would just say that I feel more um I feel more in tune with my body. And I went rock climbing this weekend, which was really awesome, and I was able to scale this wall. And people were like, "Oh, you must be strong." I'm like, "I'm not that strong." Like, <laughs> uh, so I was like, "Oh, maybe this is working." <laughs> so I haven't like. Nice. I mean, I feel good. That's mostly it. I feel good and I feel like able and ready. What about, so I'm going to get sappy, Sarah, now that you're here, I'll just get sappy because it's, it's just time. You mean you're just now? Getting sappy? Just, just now, just now. Yeah, exactly. But the, the, cause I do this Spartan race thing and John's done one with me and there's the, there's the personal goal too of something. Yes. Um, you know, whether it's fitness or whether it's just, I only work on muscles I can see in the mirror. So yeah. that's my personal goal. No, <laughs> no, not at all. No. And I have mirrors all around my house, by the way. It's just, <sighs> wait, is that, okay. So uh, uh, before I, we get to the whole mushy gushy stuff, I'm at my local gym at my YMCA and there's a jacked dude, couple, man and a woman. Yeah. And the guy, the guy would do whatever he was doing, right? Do some kind of set and immediately like check himself. <laughs> no, he Come on. And he, he was speaking of fast twitch muscle fibers. He twitched to the mirror about so often, like every 30 seconds. Like, dude, you didn't change. 
I'm yeah. going to have to come over and tell you that you didn't change at all. <laughs> uh, wait, so is this a question or a comment? So yeah, what's your personal journey? <laughs> oh. Or it doesn't matter. You did, no one needs to answer that. Sarah, you stand in front of the mirror every other second and check yourself out, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> um, you know, yeah. I don't. I don't know. Is, is that the question? I, I don't know. I don't, you, well, how about I was just say this. I don't really like gyms. So um, in general, like, I mean, I, I like them okay, but I'm more of the type of person that I'll go out for a run, but I'm a very distracted runner. And that's actually how I keep up with a lot of like my plant knowledge. I'll be running and be like, oh, Corcus agrifolia or like Sansevieria or whatever, you know, as I'm running, I'll be like noticing these plant names. <laughs> and so like that kind of like keeps me up. Or if I see something I really like, I'll stop and I'll smell a flower or take a picture. Are you really thinking plant names? Plant names oh, when you run? Oh, totally. But like all the time. <laughs> I, I, I just speak Latin to myself, but I don't know what it means. You know, yeah. like stuff you hear on Law and Order. Hey, that's habeas corpus. <laughs> yeah, so I guess the answer no. is like, I, I like to work out, but I like it to be an experience. I'm not a competitive working out person. I'm more about like, I don't know, just enjoying the moment kind of thing. And you're not a mirror, it's important. You're not a mirror I'm not a what? You're not a mirror gazer. No, no, not really. Just that. Just at home, like when I'm putting my makeup on. <laughs> yeah, but hold on a second. But I haven't seen myself in the mirror in a minute. <laughs> I'm back. I'm back. But Mark, it's okay. But that's, a, but that's a great point. In, in all honesty, I mean, because I think anyone goes to gyms and they see people trying to flex muscles or, or do some do some crazy stuff. But I think you, especially with with CrossFit and things like that. It's, it's, it's about how you feel, you know, it's, yeah. it's, I mean, look, of course, there's everyone who want to look a certain way, but at the end of the day, if you have the energy, you feel good. And Sarah, you just said that you lost 10 pounds immediately. You weren't even trying. I mean, yeah, that, that's what it's about. You'll see the results. You don't need to, to flex yeah. or do certain things that like some stupid people in the gym. I mean, that stuff is just... I am probably the silly. worst one in CrossFit, by the way. Like, I, I was, we were doing these push presses, and, like, I had, like, five-pound weights on either side. It looked so pathetic compared to, like, everybody that had at least 10 pounds on either Doesn't side. Matter. Like, I had these tiny... Well, you know what, John, you're right. You see it, you, you feel it before you see it, yeah. right? So, I mean, most people, you know, in the first, whether it's five days, 10 days, as long as you're consistent yeah. and you stay program, you'll feel it before you see it, but... You'll see it as well. You've lost how many pounds, sir? About 10 or so. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. yeah. That's great. So, Jason, you, you've been in this. What do you say to people who are, and I got to make it up, like embarrassed or they don't, uh, not, it's not for me or I don't want to try hard or I don't, I feel uncomfortable sweating in public, whatever, you know, their thing is. And, well, and you want to get them, say, no, go through the door, come in here and try this out because you feel it before you see it. You know what I mean? Well, listen, I, I have two reactions to that. As a trainer, it's, it's you know, you want to be with somebody that wants to do it because as a trainer, I don't want to be with somebody that doesn't want to do it. I'm, I'm done babysitting. That's not something that if you, if you really want to be there, then let's do it and have some fun. There's no reason you can't have fun, but also get a serious sweat. As personally, it's something I love to do. I mean, it's just been one, it's been the one constant in my life yeah. over the years yeah. is that. So, I mean, it, it doesn't, uh, you know, um, it's just something that I do regardless of anything else that's going on. So, but I, I would always want to work with people that wanted to be there, you know, and I just, I don't have time for somebody that doesn't want. So if you're, if you're going to put up a fight and you're like, I don't, you know, then I'm not, I'm not your guy or I'm not the one who's going to. So to put it. that in a Twitter version, go pound sand. <laughs> Got it. Basically. I like that. <laughs> yeah. If, no, but I, I think that's good. And that's one of the things that I enjoy about Spartan Race because I take it seriously and everybody there, there's all kinds of these, you know, dramatic personal stories. I know someone, for example, who was like 300 pounds, five feet tall, and she's now running the Beast and Killington, Vermont, Spartan Race. And she's changed her whole life around. But the thing that I like about it, and Jason, that you bring up, and Sarah, you're talking about, 
and John, you're talking about is they take it seriously. Like nobody's running dressed like a beer can, <laughs> you know, and in for whatever reason they run it, they're taking it seriously. And then we all get around after and John, you saw the whole, the whole situation there. Well, and that makes me feel good. It makes me want to go back. Well, I, I think with anything, with any of this stuff, it's, it's personal uh, accomplishment. I mean, when you can look back and Mark, that, I mean, that was, that was my first Spartan race that I ever did. And when I look back and I say, wow, I can't believe I did that. I mean, you know, running, you know, four or five miles with 20 some odd obstacles that were just crazy obstacles that to, to think that you can do this up a ski mountain. I mean, it is pretty cool. It is. When, when, when you look back at it, you say, wow, I did that. And your training prepares you for all this. So I think if, if people are training and they're, they're getting involved to, to have an end goal and to do, you know, things like this, I mean, it is kind of fun. It just, it, it shows what your training is doing. It shows, wow, you know, I, I can do more. And you can do more than, than you actually think. And that's the best part about working out and doing all this because it allows you to push yourself and allows you to do things that you never thought is, is even possible. I love yeah, that. It's personal, personal achievement. You know I mean? And, and it's always great to be with somebody um, and watch them succeed in that and feel better about themselves, feel better about progress, feel better because it makes everything better. You know, the more positive you are, the, you know, the more energy you have, you know, you always feel better. So that's, that's a, that's a positive thing. And to be with somebody and help them train them and, you know, that's an awesome feeling. You know, Jason, before, cause Virginia is going to come on and you touched on this earlier and John, you did too. And it was before you got in here, Sarah, it's the, you just worked all day, John. Um, sorry. Uh, Jason, you're building a deck at your house. Last time I heard. You're carrying, you're lugging two by soaking wet, pressure treated around all day. <laughs> and what I've found is that the fitness lifestyle makes it so that I can do these mega builds that what I'm doing right now and the TV stuff and the behind the scenes things that we do. It makes it possible for me when otherwise I would just be running on vapors, not able to think. It, Any of that. Yeah, it gives, it gives you stamina. Yeah. You know, it gives you the energy you need when you don't think you're going to have it. But that those extra workouts, you know, those AMs, PMs that you're doing, you know, you might not think you got the energy for it. But all of a sudden, next thing you know, I got plenty of energy. Yeah. I feel great. Well, well yeah. Jason, Jason it, it's, it's like we said, it's like we said earlier, with, with the amount of traveling and the amount that our schedules all are all over the place. I know right now, if I didn't work out like I did, there's no way it lasts. I either yeah. get run down, I get sick. I, mm -hmm. I would not be able to put in a 12, 14 hour day on, on site working the way we do. It just, it, it would never happen. Yeah. Yeah. And that's, I think that's the perspective that I think most people need to um, probably understand, especially those that want to get into fitness and maybe want to start that lifestyle that, you know, it's all about how you feel and, and, um, increasing that, you know, and, and, and having more energy and all those things that you're going to feel before you see. But yeah, I mean, it makes a difference in my life. It always has. And I would have an idea. Yeah, I found that. I, I, I know we're going to get somebody else on, but uh, awesome seeing everybody. Nice to see you, Jason. And, uh, I, I wouldn't mind having you again. So let's, uh, let's do this again. Jason, this I'm was you guys. This was a blast. John, it was great talking with you guys. Thank you for hanging out. We'll definitely do it again. Um, and I'd like the beginning of it to be more, what's this? What's this do? <laughs> oh. Because <laughs> that's what Jason and I spent like 20 minutes doing that. Like, <laughs> wait, where do you click? What? Well, look, hey, you... somebody help me. It <laughs> works. You got it to work. Yeah. <laughs> you got it to work. <laughs> Hallelujah. Google Sarah, Chrome. Sarah. Hey, Jason, take it easy, brother. So good to see right, you guys. guys. See you John, see ya. Later, guys. Hasta la vista. <laughs> so they're clicking out, which opens a seat. If anybody, like, I hope I'm saying this right, Beso Sani or um, Hannah, who has been chiming in, and whoever wanted to name Matt Blashaw Magic Matt. Did you hear that one, Sarah? Really? 
Yeah, they wanted to name. Yeah, I did. That was. They awesome. wanted to name him Magic <laughs> Matt, and then he did something. He fell under the table or something like that. You know, out of all those guys, Matt is the only one I haven't ever met or really interacted all that much yet. So I was like, no, don't go. I haven't met you yet. <laughs> <laughs> he, he's like, I'm leaving so I can replace him. I'm like, wait. Um, <laughs> no, it's all good. No, that's hilarious. John he's the only one who's that close to you, too. I know, right? I've met uh, John and I've met Jason a few times. So Jason, I've been in contact with for a long time. He's awesome. He's such a nice guy. Awesome. And he's passionate about awesome this whole guy. thing, which is we love. Oh, yeah. We love. Yeah. So, yeah. So, um, and I had a thought and I love, oh, you know what I wanted to talk with you about plant? I'm going to, I'm going to blast you with these food. Yeah. Food. Yes. I found that has been one of the most important things that I've changed in this last year. Towards the end of last year, we filmed two seasons of I Hate My Yard. And by the end of it, like, I was so physically exhausted. Like, I would have to stay in bed for, like, four four to eight hours on a Saturday because I was just, like, so tired. And I'm like, I can't keep up. And so this, this year when it rolled around, I was like, I really got to look into this. And I started, like, working out on a regular basis. Not that the yard work was plenty of work. Um, it's different <laughs> though. It's that. different. It is different. It is different. So I've been a lot better about making sure that I'm sleeping enough, but most importantly, I changed my diet. Um, and I pulled out gluten and I actually think maybe I have a gluten intolerance because when I pulled that out of my diet, like I was like, wow, I'm a new person. You're kidding. So, I mean, oh no, no, I'm not. So it's not all. just like because living I... in Brooklyn and having a man bun and you know, <laughs> Oh, oh no i mean i think there's that too and you know what i good for that because there's more awareness in general <laughs> but um no i would say it's a fad for a lot of people and maybe it's a fad for me i'm not sure but all i know is when i pulled it out i pulled that and dairy out which is so hard because oh. i love ice cream well you know what the th but i'm the thing that i think and i'm certified in nothing except my little sign here that i'll keep showing because I'm at a trade show yeah. called the remodeling show and deck expo and I'm building a bunch of stuff and we have, we get on the show floor. You have to have that anyway. Awesome. Um, food, how you, Oh, it, it may not be in my uncertified opinion, gluten, but gluten's in a lot of crap. You shouldn't eat anyway or eat too much of. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, and I think that's the biggest thing is not so much just avoiding gluten, but I've really cut down on just like all prepared foods and have tried to eat as much like raw, like real food that like an apple is an apple, <laughs> um, you know, trying to trying to trying to eat food and like if it has ingredients I don't recognize, I'm like, I don't know. Hi. Hello. Hi. I'm back. Justin, meet Sarah. Good to meet you. Hi, Justin. Hello. I'm giving you likes right now. Oh, I'm giving, Pound I'm giving them. I'm giving them back. I think. And we're getting. Yeah. Uh, Justin's just jumped in, and Besso Sani, who I have no idea what that could be of her name, is trying to chime in too. And she said, "Here she comes." That oh, she might not have a good it. internet connection. So she's coming into our little Brady Bunch blab. Hello there. Hi. Yay! Hi. We can hear you. Sani. Is your name Sani? What's your name? Yeah, so it's Sunny and it's Besso. Sunny. For like That's sexy. Sunny. I have oh. that name. Okay. <laughs> so Sunny, which is awesome, and I've totally butchered it. I apologize. It's fine. <laughs> what's what's your take on all this stuff that we've been talking about? Well, I agree with Sarah about the whole processed foods. They are like over processed. And so I've been trying my best to not eat things like that, but it's really hard to do or not do because it's, it's everywhere. You go to the grocery store and there's like tons of options and variety and that makes it difficult. And then if you watch TV, which I don't, but if you watch TV, there's tons of commercials that are encouraging you to, um, let me just plug in real quick, um, that are encouraging you to do, you know, to go to like McDonald's or Wendy's mm -hmm. 
things like that, fast food, late night. We're open 24 hours. <laughs> yeah. Oh, know, and they blow the French fry smell out there. It's like a magnet when I drive my truck by. Oh. Like sometimes they just crash into the fence. The French in fries are the hardest. I, I went low carb and uh, and it was, you know, it's like I, it was hard to give up pastas. There's a lot of different, but the thing that's like French fries are the absolute hardest thing to not just, I mean, I, yeah, I could destroy a potato. I'm a uh, yeah. <laughs> if you guys have ever been to California, In N Out is like you gain five pounds. Just five pounds just uh, yeah. Because you're I like, I'm giving you likes for that. I love In and Out. Love In N Out. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. So, one of the things that I do to fight that off. Because, you know, as Sarah, we were saying, and uh, Justin, you and I were just at a, an event together in New York, hotel rooms, business travel, the mm. reason people travel in their life. I'm, I'm in a hotel room right now, oh. and I bring this with me. Good. No way. Really? Yes. yes. That is awesome. That is I'm, so not, I'm tr cool. not trying to show off because I'm not a holy yeah, roller. Are. No, okay, I, I don't have one of those, but I want one of those. Me. It you know, you know, can you read it? <laughs> Nutra bullet. Sunny just Nutra got hers. Bullet. It's an infomercial thing. Sunny oh. has hers. Oh, I got mine for really cheap. I got it off of Craigslist and I paid five. Hey, it works. Plus that's $1. awesome. <laughs> well, I do it because you know the hotel. Um, it's a lovely hotel and they were awesome to me here. It's a Fairfield Inn in Chicago. And, um, but it's powdered eggs and sausage and I love Chicago. waffles. Pops. <laughs> um, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. The breakfast ball, oh. right? <laughs> yeah. And I started stuff. taking food with me when I traveled too. Like I'll, pa I'll pre-package because I don't really know. You know, you don't know what you're going to do. And I've also... I'll go through a grocery store now and I'll only like 90% of what's in a grocery store. I probably won't buy anymore. Isn't that ridiculous? Mm -hmm. Isn't that crazy? Yeah. Like they're I, just I can't, mostly I can't, packaged food. Yeah. yeah. I, yeah. I've had the same thing for breakfast and lunch pretty much every day for the last like two or three years because so much of what out there is, is, is garbage. And yeah. They just keep winnowing it down. I kind of spread it around a little bit for dinner, but, but, uh, <laughs> I mean, yeah. I'm not going to be in a fitness magazine, but, um, <laughs> but, well, uh, that's my problem. Yeah. So. I do a little modeling. I don't want to show off or anything. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, I know. Oh, I'm sorry, Sarah. I, I have a question for you. Which okay. way is it to the gun show? <laughs> <laughs> Damn it. I'm never going to win that one with you. <laughs> <laughs> Jason was on earlier. Woo! Oh, look at that. Yeah. You literally look like one of those old school comic book he does. strong he men does. With, with the barbell with two, yes! two spears that say no 500 way. on each one. <laughs> yeah, totally. A barbell guy. Uh huh. Yeah, that's me. Totally. That's me. Yeah, you're like the guy. Yeah. <laughs> Awesome! Awesome. That's, uh, that's my that's do, my do thing. Do you guys do? Do you guys do any of the kickboxing or I, yeah, sort of? I'm I'm all kickboxing. I, I, I get I get bored easily. I like I like lifting, uh, but I don't like running because it's just I'm just going in a straight line. Mm -hmm. But uh, the kickboxing keeps it interesting and is different every time. Every time you hit the bag or hit a person it, the reaction is different so um you, you you get this you get this positive feedback every time and i like that mm. uh, i yeah. do think there's some boringness in the gym like i do the same like if i went to the la fitness down the street from my gym he uh my hotel here i would do the same workout that i've been doing since i was in college you know the same lay yeah. down on the bench same chest same incline bench. Same, you know, I might mix up some stuff, but mm -hmm. you know, like Jason and uh, John were talking about before, you just kind of like, yeah. I mean, I'm doing. It's better than sitting on the couch. 
Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. What I so do you guys lately because I've been on um Blab and Periscope a lot. I find myself thinking of how it's like TV. So then I just kind of drop down and start doing crunches or leg lifts or things like that. Because I'm like, or I'll even exercise on my bike because I'm like, man, I'm just sitting here doing. That. Yeah. Yeah. So totally. That's one of my pet peeves is just like sitting. I feel like we sit so much. Like yeah. if I have friends over, I'll be like opening up a pomegranate and deseeding it or something or. You know, it's like, I'll invite people over and be like, you want to paint? <laughs> you want to do something other than sit? <laughs> well, what I do is I make people who come over and visit me do burpees. Hey, uh, don't invite me over. <laughs> How horrible are burpees? I do do oblique twists while I'm, while I'm watching TV. I'm okay with oblique twists. I'll do those. Burpees, I don't know. Yeah. I don't even know what burpees are. <laughs> mm, you don't want to know. No, you basically, you know, burpees, your life you fall on the floor and then you jump in the sky. Oh. Yes, yeah, so you have to jump in the air. Like you're on a. Then you go, and kick your legs out from underneath you. I know you can't see that. Mm -hmm. And then you jump back in the air. You basically fall down on the ground, do a push up, and jump back up. Oh, there's no. Yeah. They're horrible. And <laughs> they let you know you're alive. It sounds so <laughs> fun and pleasant. <laughs> yeah they're they're not all that fun well hey guys i actually got a skedaddle i got a class at six here and i'm late i like Oops. the class sarah so nice. oh well, thank you I, I put them on so i look smart when i go to class well if you know <laughs> then you're smart <laughs> no i know thank, thank you <laughs> well it was really cool chatting with all you guys uh this is a lot of fun i hope we do some more blabs you as well. Sir, you are awesome. So, so awesome to talk to you. You're Great a breath you. of fresh air at all times. Yeah. Oh, Yay. thank you. Floral, you got floral hibiscus skinium scent. Right. You may not be familiar with that flower. No, right. You got the first part right, though. <laughs> good, good work there. Good work there. <laughs> Uh, you know, Sarah, I could have passed anybody else but you. Like that. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Yeah, I was like, yeah. what does that mean? I got it. All right. Cool. And nobody <laughs> says Latin names of plants unless you're you or Jason. Uh, yeah, that's true. Oh, it was so cool to see those guys, too. Um, yes. Yeah. Thanks for putting it all so together. So follow Sarah on Twitter, everybody. Yay, please. And check out what she's doing. Now go to, you're, go, go to class. You have to be late and bring an apple. I ate it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm getting you to a thousand likes, and then you are out. All right. Bye, <laughs> Yay, bye. Bye. Uh, we have an open seat if anybody wants to come in and join us. You don't have to listen anymore. Technically, we're at the end. All right. Well, before we go, I wanted to I wanted to show you something because you know that I'm like I'm out in the boonies because I'm I'm staying in my dad's uh, my dad's cabin and I so I don't have access to a gym. So I ran down into a riverbed and I found I found this and I've been throwing it back and forth like a uh, medicine ball in a in a, a dry sandbar. <clears throat> it uh, I walked out to dinner. Is that a rock. I, yeah, I went out to dinner with uh, my brother and his wife last night, and this I'd already grabbed this out of the riverbed, and so I had it in my truck, and I stood on their bathroom scale with it. So I now know that it weighs thirty four and a half pounds, but wow. I didn't know that. I didn't know that before. But it's I I just tried to find a rock that looked like my head. <laughs> you, Justin DePego, have succeeded in that. <laughs> So you said you're using it like a medicine ball. You're like literally like throwing it. Put it in your shoulder, throw it, run, pick it up, throw it with the other arm. Oh, I don't. Do oh, like a shot put. Ball. Yeah, like yeah, a shot. Yeah. Play. And then like every other, sometimes you want it to come off your hip instead of your, instead of your right. shoulder. Okay. That's, are yeah, I would just, I would just palm that. Oh yeah, yeah. I could just go. You don't have to do it now. I don't want you, you know to show what? off. I'll uh, I'll ship you one, and uh, and you can do that. <laughs> you don't show up by freight. COD <laughs> costs six thousand dollars. Yeah. 
<laughs> well, you guys, I'm ho I was hoping one more person would join us, but I think, wait a minute. That she wanted to. She's here. Who's that? Cindy who? Yep. Cindy. DIY fanatic, <laughs> hobby gardener. Here she comes. Talk to me. Talk to me, internet. Talk to me. Make it happen. I can feel it. Talk to me about a connection. We've got Sunny and we've got Justin. And now we've got Cindy. Hey, well, hello. Cindy. Hi, everybody. Hi. Hey. You're getting crushed with likes right now. <laughs> or feels. They're called feels on this. And I don't like <laughs> feeling that. Props. <laughs> Might as well call them gropes. I think they're called props. <laughs> I'm doing it. That's all I know right there. You just got a million of them, Cindy yeah, who. Yeah. So Cindy, tell us a little bit about yourself. I saw your bio when you popped up and you're a DIYer and a gardener. Mm -hmm. And we're talking about all DIY health and fitness stuff tonight. A little better. Sorry, guys. I think I need to refresh. Hold on. That's pretty bad. <laughs> Cindy, who we we are liking you, but you are frozen. I think you're gonna have to try again. Yeah, we lost her connection, and um, I want to thank at DIY Girl Cave, who's been popping up in our Twitter feed, for chiming in and being part of the conversation and being a DIY person. And I want to know what a DIY girl cave is all about. In the meantime, however, we are going to end this blab and say thank you to Jason Cameron and Justin DePago and Sunny Besso. Thank you so much for joining us. And uh, Matt Blashaw, Magic Matt, and John Culinary, Spartan Racer and CrossFitter and HGTV contractor. You guys rock. Please follow us and subscribe to us at My Fix It Up Life, and we'll try to keep good stuff coming your way. We're out. See you, everybody. This is fun. Bye.